In this video, I want to look at the functionality in Solid Edge called Family of Parts. Family of Parts is similar to SolidWorks configurations, except that the configurations are all stored in a single file, and Family of Parts are distributed into individual files. Let's take a look at how this works. You can reach the Family of Parts pane by hitting this drop-down, and looking for the family of parts symbol. Within the family of parts, you can do two things. You can suppress features and you can control variables. Variables basically means dimensions. So the way to get started with the family of parts is to create a new family member. And we'll call this cylinder one. And in Cylinder 1, we're going to suppress these two features. So we'll select those two and press the Suppress button. And then we also want to control a dimension. So let's clear the selection. And while we're here, let's talk about changing dimension names. If I double-click on this feature, it brings up a dimension. I can double-click on the dimension and bring up the Edit Formula window which will allow me to change the dimension name. So I'm going to rename this Cylinder Length. Now there are a couple of things that you can do with this dimension. If you single click on it, you can change it. If you double click on it, you can drive it with a formula. You can also right click on it and there are three states you can select for this. Show Values, Show Names, and Show Formulas. Let's set this back to show values so we can change the names of dimensions. And let's add this dimension now to our list. Cylinder length. We need also the cylinder diameter. So again, we double click. We got a cylinder diameter down here. I'm going to add that to the list. Now separately, I've driven other values parametrically. For example, on this base, the width is 10 millimeters greater than the diameter. And also, the placement for this second base is based on the length of the cylinder. So the bases get further apart the longer the cylinder is, and the bases get larger the larger diameter the cylinder is. In SolidWorks configurations, when you start getting more than a couple of elements being driven, it's a good idea to create a table, which keeps all of your information organized. It's the same thing here in Solid Edge. Once we get more than a couple of elements being driven, you can start a table. The table here has our first family member name. It also has all of the feature names and all of the dimension names. We can add some additional family members here, so we'll add Cylinder 2 and creatively Cylinder 3. Because the family of parts separates the family members into individual files, we have a path set here for each family member. The family members don't need to be in the same folder as the master file, but in this case, that's the way I have it set up. We can also control the suppression state for various features. So the hole and the pattern will suppress in two family members and unsuppress in one family member. Also, we'll make these values change with the different family members. So the diameter for cylinder two will be 55. The length will be 175. Diameter for cylinder three will be 60. And the length will be 200. When you've got everything set up and you're ready to create the parts, there's a little process that you need to go through. Select all of the family members, make sure that you've set the path, in this case it's already set, and then populate the members. This will populate the family members. This will use the part copy functionality to save out versions of the master file to the family members. Solid Edge gives us a couple of warnings and then saves the files out and we can close out of the family of parts table. Now we can open up all of these parts and have a look. And cycle through with Control Tab and Alt F to fit Control Tab. To get some measurements and make sure we're getting the right dimensions, go to Inspect, Measure, 
and select the cylindrical face. Diameter is 50 millimeters. For cylinder 1, we move to cylinder 2. Diameter is 55, so we're getting the proper dimensions. Notice also that the holes are shown in cylinder 2, but not in cylinder 1 or 3. You can add additional features to the family members, but it is recommended that any edits that you make that you may want to share between family members goes on the master file. For example, if I make fillets on this face, those fillets cannot be transferred to any of the other family members. But if I flip to the master and I create a set of fillets on this face, then I can go to the family of parts table. This round is here and we can suppress the round in one of the family members and leave it there for the other two. Then we have to go through and update all of the family members. So you'd select all members and then populate and say OK. So now if we flip to cylinder one, cylinder one has the fillet on there as part of the part copy. If we flip to cylinder two, cylinder two also has the fillet but only because the round has been added and we can remove that from the individual part. If we move to cylinder three, again this will have the fillet. All of these parts are showing up in a directory along with the master, cylinder 1, cylinder 2, and cylinder 3. When you go to make an assembly or a drawing, it's recommended that you use the family members rather than using the master directly. Thanks for watching.